Let's look into a fascinating study and trial published in 2010 in the National Library of Medicine, PubMed, Oncology Reports. PubMed is an official United States government website, so hereby the information source is confirmed and validated. The name of the study and preclinical trial is A combination of alpha-lipoic acid and calcium hydroxycitrate is a efficient against mouse cancer models, preliminary results. We will review the abstract and conclusions. I will provide additional information about the researchers, their scientific approach, their findings, and why this animal study is important and relevant in human cancer research. Let's say that I am in the know about what happened inside and outside this study. The study primary author is French oncologist and radiotherapist Laurent Schwartz. He studied in France and Harvard Medical School, worked in Massachusetts and returned home in 1990 to work as a radiotherapist in Paris. He has dedicated his life to treating cancer patients with standard of care therapy, but has researched alternative treatments in parallel. During his career, Dr. Schwartz has always been a big fan of repurposed medication. One of the main advantages of repurposing or off-labeling is that the molecule and its safety and side effects are known. This way, many safety tests and trials may be skipped so the researchers can fully concentrate on effectiveness. Schwartz and his team tested hundreds of known molecules on different cancers. In the first phase, they studied the respective effects in vitro for every molecule and created a short list of promising standalone molecules and their presumed interaction pathway. In the second phase, they combined two promising molecules in vitro to double interaction pathways. The combination of alpha-lipoic acid and hydroxycitrate came out on top. In the third phase, they switched from in vitro to animal models and gave both molecules to healthy mice in order to double-check toxicity problems. In the fourth phase, they introduced three human cancers in the mice in three groups. One, a control group with cancer and no treatment given, the saline group. Two, a second group with cancer treated with two different chemotherapies, cisplatin and 5-FU, a third group with cancer treated with ALA and HCA. Overall, this was a large study, and they sacrificed roughly 20,000 mice to give you an idea of what went into it. Let us look at some results in the graph. The vertical axis represent the tumor volume in relation to the control group. ALA standalone reduced the cell number by 10 to 50%, depending on concentrations and cell types. Those are the three columns in the yellow square. The higher the dose, the lower the column and the tumor volume. The standalone HCA reduced the cell number by 5 to 60% at different concentrations. Those are the three columns in the green square. When HCA and ALA were used together, there was a major cytotoxic effect. Complete cell death of the cancer was seen after 72 hours. No tumor volume is left in the red square with the higher doses. The combination of ALA and HCA was administered to healthy mice as a safety check. No toxicity was observed. For the in vivo tests, they introduced three different cancers, two chemotherapies and the ALA and HCA combination. There were three cancer models, a blad bladder carcinoma, a melanoma, and a Lewis lung carcinoma. Let's take a look at the graph with the result for bladder cancer. After 55 days of treatment, the black column in the yellow square is gone. 
This implies that all mice in the control group, the untreated ones, are now dead. The second column represents the mice treated with the chemo. And to the right, with the lesser tumor volume, are the mice treated with ALA alone. The white column to the right is the group treated with ALA and HCA. It has about half the tumor volume left compared to the chemo group. After 81 days, in the red square, only mice treated with ALA and HCA are still alive. All other mice are dead. So it is clear that in this specific case, the ALA and HCA significantly outperformed traditional chemotherapy. The graphs for the other cancers and groups showed similar results. Therefore, the researchers concluded that this preliminary study suggests that this combination of drugs is efficient against cancer cell proliferation, both in vitro and in vivo. A clinical trial is warranted. In the years that followed these significant findings, Dr. Schwartz lobbied to get these protocols into human clinical trials. His efforts were in vain. Such human clinical trials were never authorized due to safety concerns of ALA and HCA, regulatory hurdles, and a lack of funding. ALA and HCA are naturally occurring compounds found in plants. They are cheap and available as over-the-counter human food supplements and have been used for decades in traditional medicine, primarily in Asia, or by those in the know. The FDA does not approve ALA or HCA for any specific medical condition. Thank you for watching. Consider liking and subscribing if you found this information useful.